All right, YouTube, what's the word? Genesis Boston back in the tube. So today's video, we're going to talk about curve of comp sets. You know, I love the wheels. They look good on my car, but they are more trouble than what they are worth. So pretty much what happened was after my first wheel had cracked, I was trying to get in contact with the company, couldn't get in contact with them. When you go on the website, their phone number is out of service, and they basically have no email where you can contact them at. So I had no choice but to send one of my wheels out to go get fixed. So I figured maybe one wheel broken, I figured maybe that's a coincidence, you know, get it fixed, no big deal. But out of the six sets of wheels that I had for this car, this is the first one that ever cracked. So there's an issue there. So, and then just about, say about a month ago, I had one of my tires go flat. So first thing I thought about was, oh, I hope it's not the one that I just got fixed. And that I would have to send it out to get it refixed again. But when I went to the shop, the guy told me that my other wheel had cracked. But this time, this wheel had cracked in three different places. And this is not the same wheel that I had got fixed before. So, a totally different wheel cracked in three places. So, now I'm like, you know what? This is ridiculous. So, I go on my Instagram account. And when I go to my Instagram account, I, I was able to contact the company that way. But I wasn't even able to contact the customer itself or the owner. I was able to contact one of the workers. I spoke to one of the workers and it took him almost four months for me to get a call from them. Because every time I spoke to the worker, he always told me, well, I spoke to my manager, told the manager about it, and he's going to get in contact with you shortly. Well, he never got in contact with me. So I had to keep lighting fire up the ass so that I can get the customer service that I need. You know, the company got poor customer service. It's hard to get in contact with the company itself. So how can you promote a product and want people to buy your product if you can't get in contact with the people? You know, it's, 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 it's bad for customer service, you know? And for me as a customer, even though you didn't sponsor me, I still bought your product anyways because I like I wanted the wheel and when I photoshopped it I liked the way it looked. You know, the main reason why I bought the wheel and it took me almost maybe six, seven months of looking at different wheels to find the right one that I like for my vehicle. You know, and it's a, it is a show build. I do drive my car, my car does not get trailered. And this car does go to the track from time to time. So at this point, I'm in the process of looking for another wheel for my car because these definitely got to go. And I wouldn't even sell these to, to somebody. You know, I would just literally just recycle them, throw them in the trash. The company's garbage. So if you ever think about buying a Curva Comp set, whether it's a C300 or whatever wheel they make, just don't do it. You know, it's going to be a headache at the end. I understand that they're a brand new company and that they got some kinks that need to get worked out. But at the end of the day, Curve Com says, you need to fix your shit. You know, you got to fix it. Because for me, as a car guy, you know, I'm a builder. I build my own cars. Nobody touches my car. You know, it looks bad. And when I spoke to the manager, when he finally called me, after, this was, you know, after six months of contacting him on Instagram, I was finally, get, finally able to get in contact with him. And then before that, when I cracked my first wheel, I messaged him at least seven times when they did have an email reference on there on the website. And nobody bothered to hit me up. There was nothing in my junk mail. No spam. Check all my mail and nothing there. No email. None of that. You know, the company's just real sucky. Poor um, 
poor business. You know, and that's uh, that's the way that I would operate. You know, if I you know I own a business, if I had a customer that needed some help or they had an issue, my first response would be, "Let me see what I can do to help this customer out." And my thing is that if you knew I had an issue not with just one wheel, but with two wheels, you know, even getting to a point where I had to talk to my lawyer about the situation to see what I can do. And the best thing that they can offer me is we can do you a favor and we'll pay for the shipping for you to send the wheels back. And we can look at it to see if we can even cover it under the warranty. Which is the if, which you know, if they do look at it, they're not going to even cover it. Nor they even try to offer me a new set of wheels to say, you know what, instead of you dealing with your lawyer... And bring the legal issues into this. Let me send you a whole brand new set. You know, it doesn't have to be the same set I have now. But it can be a whole different set. Just to make things fair. But they wasn't trying to do that. And right now it's carcer season. I'm not going to ship my wheel out. First of all. For you to tell me that there's nothing you can do. And then you got to send back the same crack wheel that I had before. You know, and, you know, talking to them is like talking to the wall. And it went through one ear, it came out the other. And that's just one thing that I'm not going to stand for. So I'm in the process of talking to different companies to see who can sponsor me. Uh, if you're a company and you're watching this video and you want to sponsor my car... Uh, just do me a favor, shoot me an inbox so that we can figure out what new wheel we're going to do for this car. So I'm going to try to ride these wheels out for the rest of the summer. But after the summer's over, I'm going to start kicking up my bread and I'm going to get a brand new set. But if I do get a brand new set, I got to see. But the front like, I got nine and a half right now, but on a spacer. Because of how wide the wheel is, it was too close to my control arm, and I didn't want to risk it. I know they say that you're allowed, like, a credit card thickness of clearance, but I didn't want to take that risk, and I didn't want to live my life to the edge, so I didn't do that. And then on the back, it's still nine and a half. But with the 275s, the 275s like fill up the whole wheel weld. But I still have maybe about maybe another two inches of space that could be filled up. And then when I have my 18 millimeter spacers, those were, I had to take them off because they wouldn't fit because of how wide the wheel was. So I'm looking to do either a 10, maybe a 9, no, 10, maybe a 10 and a half on the back. Because I do have a white body and I do have those Brembo calipers that needs to clear. So, finding a wheel is not easy. I have to look at fitment wise and clearance. So, do me a favor. If you're a wheel company out there and you want to work with me, let me know. Because I need Pacific specs. Because my plan is so that I do want to eliminate the spacer on the front. And I want the same fitment I have now. I believe I do have a video on this. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think my offset on my wheels right now, I think they're 35. 35 front, 35 rear, 9.5. So I would like to keep it within the same same spec that I have now, but without the spacer. But I'm I want to get it as close as as close as to the fender as possible, just so that everything can be popping. And you know I would like the back wheels to stick out just slightly more than what it is. But this is the end of the video. As far as that goes, there's no really update on the car yet. Like I said, the front lip fit like garbage. So we're doing what we can to make everything fit.
And right now, between my schedule being so tight in between car shows, it's hard to, you know, just to leave my property at the body shop for a few days, knowing that I got photo shoots and everything going on. But you are going to get an update on that pretty soon. I know I haven't posted in a while, but this video is for Carver Compsets. So if you do see this message, or Carver Compsets hears me out, you know, you guys got to do better. About YouTube, I'm out.